Collaboration Communications Systems Engineer Mississippi 721 Exam Dumps Questions are good material for you to study. Share some Microsoft Certification Mississippi 721 Exam Dumps Questions here. 1. You are configuring the new call queue to replace the response group. Which setting should you disable to ensure that the agents can receive calls from the call queue? A. Music on hold B. Attendant routing C. Conference mode D. Round robin 2. You need to recommend a PSTN solution for the team's phone deployment at the retail sites. The solution must meet the technical requirements. What should you include in the recommendation? A. Teams calling plans B. Direct routing without media bypass C. Operator connect D. Direct routing with media bypass 3. You need to connect the analog intercoms to Teams phone. Which two actions should you perform? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Create a trusted application endpoint for Teams. B. Create a resource account for each intercom. C. Register the ATAs with a Teams certified SBC. D. Create a configuration profile for IP phones. E. Enable direct routing to a Teams certified SBC. 4. Once direct routing is deployed, you need to prepare the environment to support a Reams SBA in the Vancouver facility. The solution must meet the technical requirements. Which three actions should you perform? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Register an application in Azure Active Directory. Azure AD. B. Run the new CS TEM Survivablic branch appliance CMD let. C. Enroll the SBA server in Microsoft Intune. D. Configure the SHC for media bypass. E. Configure the SBC for call forking. F. Enable forward PI on the online voice gateway. 5. You need to configure a toll-free dial in Bridge for Teams meetings. The solution must meet the technical requirements. Which three prerequisites must be met before you can assign the toll-free bridge to Teams meeting organizers? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Purchase communications credits. B. Assign a phone number to a resource account. C. Get an auto attendant toll free number. D. Get a dedicated conference bridge toll free number. E. Purchase a Microsoft 365 domestic and international calling plan license. F. From the meeting policy, set allow dial-in users to bypass the lobby to on. G. Assign a phone number to the bridge. 6. You need to validate the limited pilot based on the technical requirements. What should you use? A. Microsoft 365 Network Connectivity Test Tool. B. Self-help diagnostics for Teams. See the test sees Teams shifts connection valid FLTECMD let D the Teams device usage report in the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. 7. Your company deploys 200 Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows systems. You are evaluating whether to purchase the Microsoft Teams rooms premium license for the rooms. Which two actions require the Microsoft Teams Rooms Premium License? Each correct answer presents a complete solution.
Note: Each correct selection is worth one point. A download device logs. B. View peripheral health. C. Get reporting insights into room usage and participant count. D. Postpone updates until a certain date. E. Modify the direct guest jam settings. 8. You have a Microsoft Teams phone deployment that uses direct routing. You connect a new session border controller, SBC. You need to verify that all the voice features work as expected for calls that traverse the SBC. What should you use? A. The SIP Tester Client Script B. Microsoft 365 Network Connectivity Test Tool C. Microsoft Teams Network Assessment Tool D. Microsoft Remote Connectivity Analyzer 9. You are adding new sites to your company. The reporting team needs location-based reports in Microsoft Power B1 that include the subnet information of the new sites. You need to add the information to Microsoft Teams. What should you do? A. From the Microsoft Call Quality Dashboard. Upload tenant data. B. From the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. Define a network subnet. C. From the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. Define a network topology. D. From the Microsoft Teams Admin Center, add the subnets to the Network Planner. 10. You need to provide Microsoft Teams users with the ability to perform PSTN calling through a Session Border Controller, SBC. Which licenses can you assign to achieve the goal? A. Office 365 E3 and Office 365 E5 B. Microsoft 365 E3 and Microsoft 365 E5 C. Microsoft 365 E5 and Office 365 E5 D. Office 365 E3 and Microsoft 365 E3